In this video, I wanted to talk about matrices. So we can define an M by N matrix to be a two dimensional array of numbers, where M represents the number of rows and N represents the number of columns. So each entry we can define with index notation like this, where the first number represents the uh, row number and the second number represents the column number. So below this, we would be in the second row, first column, second row, second column, all the way to A, second row, nth column, because we have N columns. If we continue this pattern down, we will reach a M one we will be in the the last row which is the M row and we will be in the first column and similarly if we continue this pattern in this direction we will reach a the mth row and the nth column so basically we can rep we can uh, refer to any entry in this matrix using this following uh, notation so for example if I have the matrix A, and I define it as 1, 2, 3, 4 in the first row, 5, 6, 7, 8 in the second row, I can refer to this number 6 as A, it's in the second row, so A2, and it's in the second column, A, uh, so we get 2 again. So I can refer to 6 as A22. Two, two. And similarly, if I wanted to, let's say, I wanted to know this number right here, I can refer to that as A24. And this works for, this notation works for all of these uh, numbers. And typically that's how we will, we will reference a particular entry in a matrix. Another way to think about a matrix is a vector of vectors. So, if we have n vectors, then we have n columns. And if the length of each vector has m entries, meaning if each vector has m numbers associated with it, then the size of A becomes an m by n matrix, where m is the number of rows which corresponds to the dimension of the, the vector, and n represents the number of vectors. So if we come back to our example, we come back to our example, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. If we come back to this example, we can think of this matrix as a vector of vectors where 1, 5 is V1, 2, 6 is V2, and the, these are V3 and V4, where the dimension of these vectors is 2, and the number of vectors is 4. And as we said before, this A, this A matrix in this particular example, is a 2 by 4 matrix. It has a size of 2 by 4. And as we continue learning about matrices and vectors, we will see that once we start performing operations like multiplication with vectors and matrices, uh, the, these, the columns of the matrix will become very important. So that's why I wanted to point this out to you guys. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.